So last month, as part of Tesla's AI day, Elon Musk introduced a humanoid robot called the Tesla Bot. Meet the Tesla Bot. What up, fam? The project, codenamed Optimus, is based on the same electronics and sensors used in Tesla's self-driving cars. The announcement involved a dancing human in a robot suit, and Elon joking about how the robot will be designed so people can outrun it. The question many of us are asking is, is this a joke? Okay, so the first thought whenever Tesla announces anything should be, how does this impact the capital market strategy? And as much as the short seller frat boys sitting in their hedge fund offices want to laugh at Elon, and many times deservedly so, they fail to recognize that Elon is arguably the greatest stock promoter of all time. Even legendary short seller Carson Block from Muddy Waters recently wrote, Tesla shorts have focused on Tesla's lack of scale to compete in EVs with GM, Ford, Volkswagen, etc. They are correct in that lack of scale would have been the death of Tesla, but they were looking at the wrong scale. Tesla is here not because it has scale in terms of manufacturing base or unit sales, it has scale because of its capital base. And building that capital base has everything to do with Elon's ability to hype up and communicate to both a retail audience and institutional investors that buy into the Tesla narrative, a narrative that he brilliantly designs better than anyone else. Perhaps I'm giving too much credit to the Elizabeth Holmes everyone is dishonest with venture capital argument, but Elon gets away with it. So when they announced the Tesla bot, they brought a human out in a robot suit who basically danced and acted like a fool at a medieval festival. And humanoid robots aren't really anything that's out of line with what's happening in the auto sector, at least with the Japanese and Korean automakers. Honda has stories of working with humanoids dating back to the 1980s, notably working working on Asimo, a humanoid robot from the years 2000 to 2008. And Toyota has been working on humanoids since the early 2000s, announcing the THR3 platform, which they tell us has capabilities that can safely assist humans in a variety of settings, such as the home, medical facilities, construction sites, disaster stricken areas, and even outer space. Most importantly, the market leader in humanoid robots, Boston Dynamics, was acquired by Hyundai in 2020, which we'll get into later in this episode. Okay, so during AI day, when the Tesla bot announcement was made, Tesla came out and they stated that if humanoid robot works and can execute repetitive jobs that only humans can currently perform, it has the potential to revolutionize the global economy by lowering labor costs. I don't think anybody's gonna disagree with that. So Elon shared on a few PowerPoint slides that the Tesla bot will be five foot eight inches tall and weigh 125 pounds. The robot will have a screen where the head is for useful information, will boast eight cameras to make use of Tesla's autopilot system in the bot's head, and the robot will be able to carry 45 pounds with an ability to lift up to 150 pounds and run five miles per hour. So there was a disclaimer that the bot's probably not gonna work at first. Given that the prototype was a human in a robot suit, we all kind of figured out. This of course isn't the first time Elon has promised something that critics have scoffed at. Back in October 2016, uh, on the back lot of Universal Studios in Los Angeles, Musk staged an event where he showed off a product that he termed the solar roof. At the time, the solar roof tiles uh, on show were just intended to be a demonstration. And of course, nearly five years later, the solar roof does not exist, and Bloomberg recently called it a bust. So on Autonomy Day in April 2019, Musk stated Tesla would have one million autonomous robo-taxis on the road by 2020. Of course, today, there are no robo-taxis to be found. And I could probably go on for another hour about Elon and his broken promises, but the YouTube algorithm won't like that. So I'm gonna stop. Electric.co, who is totally not a PR arm of Tesla, tells us that Elon is serious because they have opened eight job postings for the role of creating a humanoid with human-like intelligence. So let's move on and talk about the global robotics technology market for a minute. Allied Research values the overall market at about 63 billion as of 2019, and they predict the market to reach about 189 billion in 2027, which works out to a CAGR of about 13.5% between 2020 and 2027. Of course, these values are largely single purpose robots, not sophisticated AI robots like the ones seen in the classic movie, and my personal favorite, Short Circuit. Despite all these hopeful projections, robot companies do not appear to be thriving as a sell side analyst might have you believe. Rodney Brooks, uh, well-known robotics business, Rethink Robotics went bankrupt in 2018 due to a lack of money. Anki, a San Francisco-based robotics company, closed shop after nine years in raising around $183 billion in funding. And lastly, MIT-based Jibbo, which raised around $70 million and made the cover of Times Magazine, decided to close its stores in 2018. That being said, not all private robotic companies have been failures. 
Boston Dynamics, the most well-known player on the block, was sold by SoftBank to Hyundai for $1.1 billion, with the latter gaining an 80% ownership in the company. While Boston Dynamics' agile commercial robot Spot made waves in the business and wowed audiences, its high selling price of approximately $75,000 prevented its mass market adoption. The company mostly makes robots that mimic four-legged animals, but has a humanoid called Atlas, which was in part designed by the United States Department of Defense. So getting back to the whole premise of this piece, which is that Elon is a great stock promoter, Electric.co published parts of an email exclusively obtained by this totally not a PR firm of Tesla that showed Elon actually wrote an email to employees saying that a $3,000 price target is totally achievable. $3,000 is totally achievable if Tesla executes really well. So look, ultimately I wanna throw this back at you, the audience. What do you think? CNBC seems to think that Tesla made this announcement to recruit the top AI developer minds in the world. Uh, many Tesla bulls seem to think that this is a um, pretty ambitious project and they're really amped up. Short sellers obviously think that Elon's posturing and stock nerds like myself, well, we seem to think that this is all part of an elaborate capital market strategy uh, and they're gonna keep the ball moving forward to keep all the retail investors engaged. So guys, I wrap it up at this, please like this video, subscribe and ring that notification bell and let us know what you think. All right, thank you everybody. Tesla bot, go buy me a candy bar. If I buy you a candy bar, will you give me a butthole? Tesla bot, no, for the last time, you don't need a butthole. You don't need a candy bar. Okay, but I'd like a candy bar. I'd like a butthole. Drop it, Tesla bot. Carry out your task. Can I at least sit on our toilet? Well, see, it, it's my toilet, not our toilet. And no. I'd like to sit on our toilet and scream, Ooh, just like my creator. I don't do that. Yeah, huh? You go, Ooh, daddy's launching a dookie rocket. Tesla bot, no more eavesdropping on me when I'm taking it. Ooh, blast off! I'm a little space boy!